Yeah. Danny, who of all the fighters you've had, you've had so many champions. Who's the best fighter you ever trained? Uh, I hate to say this, and, and unfortunately, a lot of people might say, well, who do you, you think I say? But, you know, I got to go with Edwin Valero. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What was it about Valero? Just so lean and so mean. You know, he was 29 and 0 with 29 knockouts, 19 the first round. Man, that just tells that tells it all right there. I mean, this guy, this guy was such a hard worker. He worked hard. He wanted to beat everybody up in the gym. He wanted to beat everybody in running and everything. He was just one hard, hard worker. He was a monster. No, without a doubt. So what do you attribute? What my, unfortunately, he had a tragic end, but. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna. I was gonna ask Mike to what Kenny to what do you attribute uh, his uh, what happened at, you know at the end of his life? Uh, uh, to be honest with you, I don't really think that. I don't know how people look at it, but I don't really think that he that he really that he hung himself. I don't believe. I thought he was more. I knew he was. You know, he was cuckoo sometimes, but not like that. I, I, and I think he loved his kids. He had two beautiful kids. I think he loved him and the wife. And they say he killed her and supposedly have hung himself. I don't believe that. I understood that he was really messing with some big wig in Venezuela. And I think he was messing with his wife, I understand. And it's very possible that he might have got, they hung him in that prison rather than him hanging himself. I don't believe he hung himself. Um, yeah, I mean, because I remember that that was, you know, I, I thought he was a, you know, awesome fighter when I'm watching him on TV, you know, terrific, you know, it's not one of these guys that's just, you know, they're setting him up with like a bunch of bucks, easy knockouts, oh. you know, oh, was, no. yeah. Um, so I was very impressed and I was very upset when, you know, reading about that, that story. Yeah, so. that, that was really tough because last time I worked with him, we fought, we beat a guy in, uh, in Japan, we fought a guy in Japan because uh, Mr. Honda actually had was working with him for a little while also as promoting him, you know. So, but he was, but basically, he was a nice, nice person. He stayed here in Vegas for for about a year, year and a half, you know. He he, good kid, you know. He lived didn't live too far from me. I didn't let him stray too far from me because I had to, I had to do, I had to kind of keep a handle on him because he would he would drink a little bit every now and then and. Uh, uh, he he liked to get tipsy. He liked to get a little tipsy sometimes, you know. But hard, hard worker. I mean, whatever he did bad, he did so much good stuff. You know what I mean?